Hello everyone, today is another session of doing a very cool chart in both Excel and Power BI. First, let's look at the business scenario where we use this kind of double rater charts. Where I have seen it, most company is actually using not in compensation, but in training and development. So for example, when you have a group of executives who attend an executive competency training, and you want to record and reflect the training results. So here I have a set of data. I have six of my uh, C-suites who are the leader team who have done extensive training on uh, executive competency. So we actually measure their competency in, uh, in five dimensions, financial awareness, initiation, customer orientation, group orientation leadership and critical thinking. So let's say before the training, we give them measurements and here are the score. And after the training, maybe after a few months, we give them another assessment and here are their training. So in this kind of case, the double radar chart is actually a perfect way to showcase whether any progress has been made throughout those training programs. So for example, if we look at our VP operations chart, before the training, they have been in the gray area. And then after the training, everything else looks the same for this uh, executive, which means that this training actually didn't really positively or negatively affect this person. But for the critical thinking um, dimension, that person's rating actually increased from three to five. So that's a significant increase for this person. So in this setting, the double radar chart is perfect. So now let's look into how to create that Excel and Power BI. Okay, now let's look at how to create this chart in Excel. Before we dive into the chart, it's important to organize the data in a way that's best for creating the chart. So in this case for Excel, let's first reorganize our data in this, uh, in this set. What we are actually gonna use is this part. So you, you can have the name and title by the side just for your own reference, but what's really gonna show up in the chart is actually this part. And it's better because like with time sequence, let's say we have two stages. The first, the, the one on the top is before training, and then the one after is after we organize our data in this way. So now let's see how to create this data. First, you can select all your data. Um, and go to insert and recommended chart. Uh, what you want to see is actually the reader type of chart. And here you have three types to choose from. The one that I used is the field reader because I kind of like the feel, the size of it. You are okay to choose either of them. So this is what I'm going to use and this is how the chart just populates. So I'm going to show you how to basically recreate exactly what I did. First thing you do have to manually change your chart title. So here I change it to my job title because that's what's showing here. And then second, you can see in the legend, Excel kind of automatically assume that you want to have the name and title in this chart, but I don't need it because once I see the title, I know it's for Tammy, the VP operations. So here you can actually select this chart right click, select data, and then customize the legend yourself. So here is the auto legend. Let's add it. It's selecting this range. I will change it to only the stage because I only care about like before and after. And then your legend will be changed to before and after. So it's much cleaner. And also if we recreate this for other jobs, it's actually easier for you to customize because you can just copy and paste. And second thing I want to see in this chart is that categories. I can make the category look bigger. The font looks bigger. I can just customize it to be more evident. I also have this labeling, which I actually don't want it to be by 05. I want it to, to be just one apart. So what you do is double click on it and you can see the units and I want to change my major unit to one from 0.5. So it looks neater just like that. And then let's go into the field part. So of course you can have it like filled as a complete one, but then if you do that, you kind of lose the feeling of the before and after. So we have to change that. What you can do is to select this part. You can just select chart and then you can see if all the border are selected. That means that you can actually format this part and you can go 
to the formatting here and then go to lines. You want to do solid lines for the after training. You want to go with the uh, the orange color and then you can also go here and then click back in here. I actually want the transparency to be zero. If yours is not zero, you can put it back to zero. And then I want my width of the, of the line to be four and you can actually see how it is after I fill. Okay, so now I've set up my line, my border, and then now I right click and I change my fill. So my fill, I can change it to any color I want. I choose to have no fill or you can, yeah, you can choose anything you like and choose another one. You can choose an orange one, which is lighter and I choose have no. This way you can see the before training a lot easier, but you can see actually my before training is also filled and I want it to be transparent. However, because the before part is actually right underneath, my after is completely overlapping. So if you try to select in the chart, you'll find that you can only select the after. You cannot go down to the before power, which is annoying. What do you do in this case? What you can do is jump out of the chart, select maybe the plot area, right, um, right click. When you right click, you will see, as long as you see this part, you're set because then you can go up here and select exactly the series, the data series that you want to format. So now I want to choose before training. So you can see once I go before training, I can select exactly this area that I want to format. And then I will go with the solid line, but I want it to be great. Um, and I want the transparency to be zero and I want a thick line. And I also want the fill to be, you see, I'm not doing that right. I have to select this to be before and I can choose the non fill. And then that's exactly how it looks like for double radar chart in Excel. Now let's recreate this chart in Power BI. So this is, is how the chart will look like. And before we dive into the chart, we do need to go back to our original data and reorganize the data properly, which set it ready to be creating the charts. So let's come back to our raw data. That's our raw data is two tables with the before training results and after training results. When we import this into Power BI, we have reorganized in this format that I have. So for example, for our VP operations, I want to have the name um, and the title for each of the roles that I have the person. I have the five competencies listed here. Uh, in different roles and I have the before and after training results um, in the same role. I also added one column that's called the competency order. It's actually um, for the chart because I want my chart to show exactly the competency in the order that I want. I don't want to in have it in some other orders. The reason that I have to do this is that in Power BI, when the charts sort the category, they actually automatically sort by alphabetical order. So there are two ways you can do this if you want them to be sorting in a certain type. One is to add a competence order and then later in Power BI you can sort by this order. Another thing is that you can actually just add like one, two, three, four in your competency. So then uh, when Power BI sort, it automatically recognize the one, two, three competency. So I'm doing it the first type. So the first thing I do, let's say we're only doing the VPL role for now. I'm copying this data set. It's a small data set. So what I will do is that I'll create a new page and go to enter data and this table pops up and I just copy and paste my data directly into it. I can rename it to anything I want. So this is the data that I loaded. Uh, one thing you want to check is to make sure that your data type is correct. So for example, when I click the after training and before training, I want to make sure my type data type is number and also my competency order because if it's a text format, it cannot sort or calculate properly for our purpose. Okay, so it seems that our data type is fine. Now the next thing to do is to um, import the visualization type. So the radar chart is not readily available in the charts available, right? So we have to go to the get more visual and uh, look for it. And luckily it's a free chart. You go to radar, you have a couple choice. That's the one that I used. Radar chart, it's loading and uh, you can add it for free. It will load into your visualization uh, panel and this is that um, I have already downloaded. And um, once you have it, you can click on it. It's gonna show this and ask you to drag the fields. We have already set the data, so it's easy. So we drag the 
category to be competency and drag the for the y-axis you drag or and after into it so automatically it's recognizing as a count which I don't um, I can do it as a sum it, it's just one number so it doesn't matter whether it's sum or average but I don't want it to be a sum because it's just one number so I can rename it to be just training the same after training so I can see those two results. Um, and for my competency, as you see, it's going like this. And I don't want it to be like that. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to select competency on the right hand side, go to sort by column, and I want to sort by C. So now it's working, but it's still not exactly what I want, right? Like I want it to be like financial analyst first, da 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 da. It's not showing that. And then if that's the case, go to the top right, more options, go to sort. You want it because this chart automatically sort by before training. You don't want that. You want to, to be sort by competency and you want to sort it as it. So this is the chart that you, and now let's actually, we can also change the color of it. This one is still showing count. We need to change it to some. Yep. So now it's actually showing exactly the chart that we want. The only thing that we need to change is the color, which is the easy part. Uh, you select the chart and then you go to your format and then you change your data color and you change any color that you want. Um, you know, I want it, I use the gray as the before and the orange as the after. So there you go. You have the chart that show the before training results and RBI. Okay, so that is everything I want to share with you today. Which one do you like better, the Excel way or the Power BI way? I personally like the Power BI way better because it's less manual work. It allows me to reproduce the charts more quickly. In my next video, I'm going to show you like when you need to do uh, multiple charts of the same type, how can you reproduce them quickly in both Excel and Power BI? So I will see you in my next video.